ist gültig. Danke. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So today we're going to be back in France and we're going to be starting at Lyon and we're going to be going to Clermont Ferrand. So this gentleman is requesting a ticket. So let's get him all hooked up. There you go, sir. How about you, ma'am? Okay. All right, so I believe that is it. So we were taking one of the comfort class buses out today. And uh, one of the things I noticed with these buses as well is that the, uh, the headlights automatically come on. So I don't know if that's a daytime running lamp kind of thing or what. But uh, yeah, the headlights are off, but yet they, uh, they are on. So a little strange, but then again, I guess... I guess not for Fern Bus Simulator, <laughs> is it? All right, so let's let's get these doors shut and let this let's get this trip on the road. Oh, what is going on there? Did the lights just shut off? That is so strange. I don't know what's I don't know what's going on with that. Uh, oh, we need to hit the announcements or not. Okay, announcements don't work. So sorry about that, people. Let's uh, let's get this show on the road, though. Let's see what else doesn't work on this bus. You know, it's uh. It's kind of difficult to want to recommend DLCs for this game when some of these don't work and we have no information on whether or not they're going to. Ooh. Now, you know, I turned down the traffic density a little bit. Thank you, sir. But uh, it still looks quite, quite heavy, which it doesn't bother me. And I need to change my steering wheel settings. There you go. I'm uh, <clears throat> I'm using the same wheel that I used for the NASCAR Heat Five that I've been playing. And uh, yeah, they have to have different settings. So switch that real quick. Yeah, I wouldn't mind the heavy traffic if they they fix the AI more, but I don't know. It's not looking too good, is it? It's not looking too good for any updates of this game. We've been left in the dark now for quite a while. What is going on? This is weird because I had the traffic density up to 75. That's usually what I always play this game on, and it was always fine. But now all of a sudden, it seems like the traffic density at 75 is just extreme. But that's all right. That is being a bus driver. Traffic jams, right? <laughs> I got to say, that's probably one thing about driving that I did not enjoy. Just a crazy traffic. It's actually quite stressful. You know, a lot of people think that driving is driving, right? It's not that hard, but when you're driving a big vehicle like a semi or a big bus like this through these these big cities with the congested streets and stuff, man, it is just the stress levels go right to the rough, man. So, we're, so we're moving. I mean, it's not too bad. The brakes on this bus are not that great. Oh, okay. There's a traffic light up here, so that's good. Yeah, the bus, the brakes on this bus, uh, not the best. 
So I would have to say across both DLCs, um, the second bus DLC pack is probably the most bugged, and the cover class buses are the most bugged, I think, you know. The, uh, the new man buses, they're not too bad. The uh, the Sprinter, the Sprinter isn't too bad, I don't think. I, I don't like the sound of it. I think it sounds horrible. Um, but other than that, it's not too bad. The first bus pack, I would say, is is the one to get. If, if you guys are interested in getting a DLC for the game, I would definitely get bus pack one over bus pack two right now until they get it fixed. If they get it fixed. That's probably the uh, the bigger question. Oh, you know what? I'm not. <laughs> I'm not waiting for that light. These fine people want to get to their destination today. <laughs> so, yeah, this isn't going to be a long trip, but uh, we haven't spent a lot of time in France. Unfortunately, there's really not a lot of cities in France to go to in this game. I'm sure in real life... There's a lot more that you can go to. I mean, I, I can't imagine these are the only bus stops in the whole country. But what are you going to do? Oh, look at that. Look at those mountains in the background. Okay, I probably shouldn't look at them that much, but you guys can kind of sit here and enjoy the scenery. So how has your guys' summer been going? I cannot believe it's August already. Like, this year is just walking right away from us, man. It's crazy. Before you know it, it's going to be September and it's going to be fall. Oh, man, just just ridiculous. I'm telling you, for all you youngsters out there watching, in case I got any younger viewers watching, man, don't, <laughs> don't get too eager to be an adult because I'll tell you, once you hit a certain age, man, the days, the minutes, the hours, the years, they just fly. They really do. And uh, it's its no fun, man. It is no fun. So also while we're here, I, uh, I do want to talk a little bit about the channel. I want to put a little bit more content on the channel. We are a simulation channel, so I do want to get back into more varied content. Again, for bus simulator, tourist bus simulator, they're going to be always on the channel. I am going to have a tourist bus video out this week. You should be watching this on maybe a Monday or a Tuesday. Um, so if you're watching this video on a Monday and it came out on a Monday, then probably Tuesday or Wednesday I'll release that. Um, as of right now, I think the end of the week, like Fridays, is going to be a race day. I've just been having so much fun with racing games and, and the new racing rig and stuff, man, that I'm really into that. Um, we're going to try to get some other content on here that we've had on the channel before, a little Fish in North Atlantic. Uh, I would like to bring that back. Um, who knows? Who knows? You know, we got the... Uh, the new map coming to Way of the Hunter, the African map, so I definitely will be doing some videos on that and getting that out. And uh, eventually, I, uh, I would like to get back to streaming as well. We'll, uh, we'll see what happens, though. We'll see what happens. What's light accident? Out. Oops. Yeah, okay, I probably should check that. Now this looks like this is the lane they're telling me to get in. Yep. Yeah, I should have checked my my mirrors. Always check your mirrors, kids. When making lane changes, uh, are you? Now see the AI. Look at look at him squeezing me. That's a cop. Jeez, really, dude? A freaking cop doing that? Crap. 
crazy. Okay, so let's say we have a long on ramp here. Another beautiful day here in Fern Bus Simulator. I do have dynamic weather on, so maybe we'll see some weather change before we get to where we're going. Like I said, I don't know. It's it's a pretty short trip. It's not the longest trip. This bus is uh, really slow on the acceleration compared to some of the other buses. I gotta say, I think so far, the VDLs are possibly my favorite. I like the VDL buses. They're really nice. And of course the new MAN, the new MAN buses that came out in the, uh, the DLC pack. So now, let's go to about 89, I think, then we, oh, see, as soon as I go faster, as soon as I go faster, we have stupid traffic. Oh, God. We have this box truck that's just, I don't know what his problem is. I don't know if he had a heart attack or what. That cop could, could uh, look into that. Pull him over for impeding traffic. Jeez, oh my god, what is going on? It's so funny because I, I swear I can... I can do several trips with this game and not have an issue with traffic. And then all of a sudden, all at once, <laughs> it's, it's just horrible. Oh man. You gotta love it though. There's those blocky lines again. No smoothness. Oh my god. Okay. This is just... Look at... He's just... Look at... Wow. Traffic is really having issues today. Like, honestly, I still feel like I have the biggest issues anytime I'm in France with this game. Like, just... If you go to France, you're going to have issues. The traffic's going to act crazy. You're going to get all kinds of bugs, graphical glitches, performance issues. You know, that's uh, that's why I tend to stay on the German side, because the German side is much smoother. I don't know. It just feels like they put out the DLC just to make more money off the game, possibly. It doesn't seem like the love that they put into the German side actually went into the other DLCs. It's unfortunate. Well, that's not true, I guess, because like Vienna and them, those were those were DLC. And those were fine. Pretty much anything on the left side of the map. Oh, and it's telling me I gotta be in this lane. Gosh, I really wish that the GPS would be a little bit better. So, is calling that a GPS, is that a strictly American thing? Overseas, do you guys refer to that as a sat-nav? Because in America, that's, that's what we call a GPS. Which, I guess now that I think about it, that seems kind of strange, because GPS is a global positioning satellite. And that is technically not what that is. I guess it's using GPS technology, but uh, it's not really GPS, is it? Huh. See that? It's like driving clarity. You think of these things when you're on the open road and you got nothing else to do. Ooh. Feels like we took that a little fast. I gotta remember, this isn't 
this is an F1 or NASCAR heat. <laughs> Steering is not that responsive in the bus. So I finally got around to watching the uh, the Top Gun sequel, Top Gun Maverick, and I gotta say fantastic if uh, if you're older like me and you love the original movie then uh, I would highly suggest watching the, se the sequel it's uh, it done so well it's done so well you know making a sequel to a movie that that's old is always a little risky but uh, I think I think they did a hell of a job they really nailed it you know, there was a lot of good 80s music in there, so they, they kept that intact because the, uh, the original Top Gun had some great tunes. Wow, this bus, when you stop, this thing just does not want to get going. <laughs> Horrible acceleration. Another really good movie I feel that they did a hell of a job with is Ghostbusters Afterlife. I think they just did that so well. It was really nice to see them pay respects to the, uh, the original movies. And of course, it was Ivan Reitman's son that did that movie, so... Yeah, he did. A, he did just a bang up job on it. This is very, very windy through here. Windy, twisty. Jeez, I feel like I'm kind of in a. Tours bust him. Yeah, look at this. This is crazy. We gotta slow down around these curves. Jeez. Are we coming down a mountain or something here? This is just like a crazy road. Oh, what's written on this bridge? I'll see if I can see. It's probably going to be in front. Oh, no, that's not. Oh, that's just where on the bridge. Look at that. All right. That was pretty cool. I thought that was going to be graffiti on there at first, but no. Okay, we're only 40 kilometers away, so I'm going to move over because I'm assuming our exit has to be coming up soon-ish. So I see that Fabian is uh, working for Astragon now, so he got a new job pretty quick. I wonder what wonder what transpired over there that they lost so many people this year. And now we haven't heard anything about what's going on with any of those games. That must be making people really happy. Oh! <laughs> As usual, stopping right on the highway. This, I gotta admit, this is a little ridiculous. In real life, this would be 
so dangerous. So dangerous. Just stopping on the highway like that. Oh my god. <laughs> wow. Surely it can't be that difficult to, to get that straightened out. I mean, again, I don't know. I'm not, you know, I'm not a programmer or anything like that, but I don't know. It just seems to me it can't be that difficult to work that out. I mean, if it was my game, uh, that's like, that would be a number one priority. You know, but again, they, uh, they're more interested in the bus. Probably. I, I don't even know what they're interested in, to be honest with you. Their Twitter page, all they do is post stuff about the, the Flash Base FM, which to me is just ridiculous. You know, are they a game developer? Are they a radio station? Like, what are they? I don't, I don't even know what TML, what they, what they really do. I don't know really where their passion lies, if I'm being completely honest. It's kind of annoying that we don't get any updates to know what they're doing with these games, but yet they're constantly talking about that Flash Base FM, you know? Just one of those little annoyances that I have with it. <laughs> Bus stop. Goodness. Like I say, this this bus, man, it's really difficult to stop. It just doesn't want to. But yeah, I'm thinking we need to get back to the uh, tourist bus and um, get back to the island. Oh, here comes the rain. how <laughs> it starts raining first and then the clouds come in which like I I get that like in the summertime sometimes it does happen man y'all have a lot of toll booths in France <laughs> just a lot Let's hope we don't have any traffic coming up there. No, we don't. So I'm kind of messing with the FOV again, as you can tell. Because the way my rig set up, it's set up for F1. And uh, I'm, like, really debating whether or not I want to change that. If I want to put it in the, uh, the GT position instead. I don't know. Like, I don't mind the F1 position. And it, it doesn't really... It's not, like, extreme... F1, like the pedals aren't higher, uh, if that makes any sense, like they are in, a, in an F1 car. So, I don't know, I'm, I'm really toying with the, uh, <laughs> the option of switching it over. Gosh, it's still so hot in my room today. And I'm, I'm recording this at like... Oh, it's like going on 11 o'clock at night here. But we are almost at our destination, guys. We are about five kilometers out. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you're all having a fantastic day. hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, you know what to do. Hit that like button, subscribe if you're not already a subscriber. I appreciate you guys watching subscribing and all that don't forget to leave a comment that helps the channel as well don't miss a green light and yeah guys we will see you next time
Wie, wir sind zu früh? Thank you. 